Howdy, John here again. 10 weeks post-op on a reverse shoulder replacement. And I'm here to give you my, uh, my update. Things are going, I think, really, really well. Um, getting stronger and more flexible. I'll, I'll give you an idea of, you know, my range of motion is really pretty good. It's not 100%. You know, I can go out here, go back. Um, I'll show you some weights. I'm just starting to, to do weights. Um, physical therapy has me using three pounds. I don't have three pounds, so I'm using five. Um, I can go out like this. Don't want to take it much higher than that. Um, well, maybe I can. But it's it's feeling really, really, really good in, in that regard. I also use uh, some cans. Um, this is one pound, 12 ounce. This is one. I'll use them at, at different times. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy. Had a little bit of a scare about 13 days ago. I dislocated the, the shoulder joint. Um, sounds more scary than it really is because without any rotator cuffs to stretch or tear, it didn't really hurt. It was uncomfortable. I was lifting something maybe 10 pounds from a side like this probably equally weighted in, in my hand and went like that and it just like it slipped and I had to try to find a way to get it uh, back in back in joint and I and I was able to and it was fine uh, the rest of the day then that same night I was carrying a tray turned a little bit and it slipped out and I wasn't able to get back in place uh, by myself. I had to call my physical therapy son and he just, uh, first thing he had me do was hang down like that and it, it slipped in place. We're pretty sure we know what caused that. Two things, one, loose shoulders from being a swimmer my whole life. And then there was a, uh, a pulley stretch that I was doing, pulley up here, pulling on it and pulling it behind my back. Um, and I was able, um, before I dislocated, to get my hand maybe up there. And we think that that was loosening the joint um, or loosening the muscles that need to hold it in place a little too much. And so I've stopped doing that for 13 days and it's, it's been fine. It feels tighter, stronger. I um, can't lift my hand behind my back very well, although you know, a little bit of repetition I can I can do that um, what bit have been uh, paddle boarding stand up paddle boarding twice mostly in the last week first time we went um, it was probably too far too much because we headed out in the lake for an hour then headed back and when we had a headwind coming in so it was a th that kind of motion really really felt good um, for exercise but by the end of it, it was my, these muscles were pretty fatigued. So I was a little concerned, uh, not too much. Next day I took it easy, didn't really do any PT on it. And then two days later, it was just fine. And then a few days, uh, maybe like two or three days ago, we went paddleboarding again, not quite as far or, or long, and that felt just fine. Swimming wise, um, making less progress than I would have hoped. Um, while I can go through the, the motions pretty well standing up in the water laying flat it, you know that doesn't work so well for freestyle backstroke i can actually do although it feels very weak there i probably yesterday did maybe four laps of extremely easy backstroke just going through the motion breaststroke um, my prime racing stroke I'm able to do it, but my hands have to be about that far underwater. I can't be flat. Um, I can't really go like that very, very, very well. But I can tell an improvement pretty much every time I go swimming. It's like maybe the, this much more uh, stretch that I can do. Um, but overall, really, really happy. Um, I see the doctor in about 13 days. I'll be the first time since I saw him 11 days after surgery. So I'll be very interested to hear what he says. That'll be just a few days before I'm at my 12 weeks. And apparently on his protocol at 12 weeks, I'm pretty much uh, able to do 
I don't know. The, the physical therapist I've been dealing with said, you're unrestricted at 12 weeks. I don't think so. Um, I'm sure the doctor will assess where I'm at and give me some uh, different, uh, different things to do. I intend to continue doing physical therapy for a couple more months. Um, I've had a lot of other physical therapies on different parts of my body. None is as critical as, as it is for the shoulder. So I, I mean, I can't imagine not being diligent in physical therapy um, with this kind of procedure or even probably really any shoulder surgery because it's the most complex joint. So I'm really um, thankful for the physical therapist. Thank you, Adam, for uh, helping me out uh, 13 days ago. And uh, I'll probably give you an update, probably not before 12 weeks, uh, maybe, maybe at the three month mark. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. Hope this has been helpful. We'll see you soon.